excited? Lucy's excited. So this is where we are going to be creating a mud bogging driving area right here actually there's a house right there so we're not too far uh we actually attempted to turn this into food plot and then it rained after we had dissed it and this thing was a literal pond it's kind of like a natural flows all these hills that's the you can see the deer blind there's a food plot there it all kind of flows down into here so we realized well it's probably too wet for a food plot but what it could be perfect for is a uh, a mud oh look at the deer poop right there something to mud in so I've never built a mud I'm excited about thing, it. but I don't, how do you, how does one build one of these? Anyone got any ideas? I mean, it's high, si high sides over there, so the water's gonna drain back, so what I could do, take that side and pull it this way, or just take it and push it up the hill. It doesn't really matter, I guess, either way. Just make that side a little deep, because there's a deep hole here. I know elevation's tough on camera, so just bear with us. You have to just trust what we're saying here, but there's a deep hole here. So, I mean, as far as the water, I think it pretty much naturally, well, you can see the deer trail right there. That looks about like where the water would come down. So I'm just, what I'll do is try to get rid of all this little stuff basically i gotta just skim skim this whole thing try to clean it all up and then i just gotta figure out if i just want to push it up and just make a berm on that side i mean there's already a berm clearly but we can make another one or just add to it essentially and just basically just push it almost like a dozer and just grade this whole thing off what we're gonna have to do well it's gonna rain in the next couple days which is why we're doing it you can see we got clouds but since it is close to the house we probably could i got two of those big long corrugated pipes we could probably connect those and that would give you like 200 feet and then a, you know, a couple garden hoses so basically we'll turn on the hydrant at my house maybe let it run for the next day or two plus the rain then i would assume this thing would fill with water at least that's what i'm hoping we might have to wait a little while but we got all these cool toys right we got the new mini rip saw we've got all these atvs and go-karts and dirt bikes and that's the one thing we don't have is a place to mud with them we've got the racetrack now but we need a place to come basically put something to the test that's designed to get through the slop we need a place that has slop so yeah i'm trying to really you see that's a, that is a nice little deer trail right there though that's what millie's Mill sniffing aren't you you're sniffing it right there but wouldn't you think the water would pretty much come you know i was wondering do we if we have to re-slope any of that in order to get more water but i remember after that one big rain this thing was basically a lake so i feel like it already drains into this this is the natural creek anyways so maybe we'll skim this off do you want to leave deep pockets or do you do you want to make it all perfectly flat what do you think the strat is here i guess i'm not i'm new to this game your toys or not I mean, if we just mark it <laughs> and just be like, don't go, movies. don't go, don't go over there. I mean, that's where you're going to have to have like a snorkel or something. Cause that is, that, that is would, pretty deep. I mean, I could take this hill right here and yeah. at least try to level it. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll maybe just kind of work on skimming, leveling. I don't think there's probably a ton to do cause we want to catch that all this runoff right here. It all comes down to here. I think it, I mean, they already did the hard work. They built yeah. the berm, which is what we really needed to do in the first place. I think we just got to push the rest of it up, get rid of all this thatch oh, yeah, and be good to go do what you see a scrape right yeah scrape and then there's a rub on this tree right here right at the house i could have shot him earlier what the hell yeah and you got your little rubby right there so the deer are like that's why we wanted to make it a food plot it's a nice little what in the hell was that we in the amazon so i wanted to make this food plot because with all these big trees we could put tree stands in here and just have like a little you know micro it's basically the same size as that one but it's a little bit more condensed it just there's too much water now if we don't get any rain like we have them in then we'll probably be all right but i don't want to go through all the work uh, i mean actually that's taking the thatch off and grading it what was that sound was that lucy lucy are you all right anyways it basically would turn this into a mud bog but then you could let it dry up and plant it in the fall because we would have already had it smooth out and we could try it and, and maybe you'll get too much rain is there a good crop that's good for moist soil for deer or is that not those mm. the two don't mix it's just tough because you just like so wet you're gonna get all those water weeds and all yeah. those plants they're gonna yeah they're just gonna come up anyways yeah so we might we might we'll just have to see first we want to make it a mud pit maybe we could eventually turn it into a food plot overall we just got to take this thing start sculpting on basically make it look like a pond just kind of scrape it all down and then I don't this isn't one of them deals where you make like bumps and jumps and stuff it's just supposed to be a bowl yeah. with water right i mean we and you just hit it plant it we could do wild rice like if it's oh wild rice, yeah that might work it, yeah it. so anyways we got the skid loader um that's pretty much what we're going to work with today see what we can make happen it's these are the projects you look at and you're like oh yeah just give it a little scrape it's like nine hours later and you've just got a little pile of dirt so we'll see what my, how my skid loaders have my skid loader skills have improved over the last two years because this is probably twice the size of the pad of the shop and that took me three days so this would be six i've got like three hours that's what i'm hoping for so stay tuned all righty folks well here we go we are getting in the rig safety first turn this bad boy on oh god yeah we are 
are in business, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so after we turned off the camera, we Jake and I talked a little bit, and I think to make it at least a start, we'll see how good I am at running this thing, if I'm quick or not, but this hole that's in front of me, right here, so it's kind of a trench. Now I started thinking, I'm like, well, maybe we don't want this whole thing water, maybe we just want a section so then you can drive on like land and then go in the water and get up on land and you start doing them things, right? So, what we're thinking, hopefully this audio is not awful, so I've got a, a ditch in front of me, so you can see the water kind of comes down here and it kind of comes down like this. We're thinking that we're uh, gonna basically take this already existing hole and I'm just gonna keep going, and I might even go in this way and push it, but essentially make a channel. So all the water, when we run the garden hose, all the water will come into one channel, so we guarantee water there. Now if we get Katrina on the way, this whole thing should be water, which would be great. But assuming I don't wanna run my well dry, then I might not be able to pump a ton of water in here. And so what we're gonna do is just start with a trench. Well, I'll try to get rid of all the thatch, because that doesn't do anybody any good, but kind of start with the trench right in the middle and kind of have the sides kind of go up like this so all the water should drain in the middle so we should pretty much always guarantee water here and that's obviously the wettest spot you see all that stuff growing right there that tells me that there has been some moisture because we ended up coming in here and spraying it and killing it anyway so that's pretty much the plan we're gonna go ahead and start moving some dirt around and hopefully get something worth driving a four-wheeler in or something so stay tuned all right so like i said they got a hole here i'm just gonna see if i can extend this hole we're going in it right now mess we decided it was a good day to wear crocs uh i feel like made pretty quick work yeah that was what like 25 minutes maybe that step i can tell you my skid loader abilities have improved now it's not level at all so that part has been improved on but i moved a lot of dirt and i moved a lot of dirt i don't think we have any problem holding water oh still hold water right now yeah <laughs> i mean so now pretty much where i imagine the water what i tried to do is when i went around it was kind of the rim of where i imagine the water will be mm. What's not disturbed should be dry, hopefully. Um, and then what's dark right here should be water. So that is probably two feet lower than this. So in case we get a huge rain and we don't want to sink our stuff, I left us some like a little bit more shallow, a couple little shallow areas here, and then there's a deeper side here. So I mean, is there any anything you would change? I mean, I can all I can do is blow. I mean, I can blow it out yeah. side to side. That's quite a bit higher than this. Than this, yeah. Than so I mean, I, what I could do is I could take maybe this and shave it down to that elevation, and then take that berm and shave it down to that elevation. But it's pretty good. I mean, my and I, my entrance it comes in, it gets high, so I'll take that out too to make sure that when that water comes down, that it should flow into here. But I don't know, a quarter acre pond probably, decent, uh, yeah. decent size. I feel like we're gonna be having fun with the mud, but it's already muddy. 
like just a sprinkle and we're already gonna be in business. So I think it's a perfect spot to hold water and I'll, uh, I'll back drag it, smooth it out, make it sure it's all packed in, looking decent, but I'm gonna get back to moving dirt. I mean, this is gonna be less than an hour for sure. I think I'm just gonna move a couple high sides there, smooth it out, a couple high sides here, just a couple high sides there, move it out, just really shape that bulb. We should be good to go. She's all smoothed up, ready to go. It's not perfect. Man, Lucy, Millie, you guys are excited. Don't play in the mud. Mom's gonna be pissed. Quick work, boys. 40 minutes. Beefcake excavation, uh, dirt work, LLC. Getting better. We're getting better. It's not flat at all. To you guys, this actually probably looks pretty flat. That's probably two feet higher than there, but that's okay. I think that's good. I, having some deep sides, some shallower sides, because uh, depending on what uh, you know, we come down here with, we may be able to go deep. I mean, if this thing works and fills up, I will get a snorkel for one of my four wheelers then we can really put it to the test so that would be snorkel territory this would be not snorkel territory so i didn't want to make the whole thing snorkel territory if i don't have a snorkel does that make sense okay so quick work 40 minutes got it smoothed up i made a little creek canal so any water that does come down there will shoot and fill into here this stuff's already good it's already graded to do this and in fact this was a creek that runs all the way down to my pond and they put the, the little levees already in it so it's it's pretty much this thing's designed to fill and in fact fact, I mean, if I was staying here longer, we could put a pond. Like, I know I'm moving, but hear me out. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, so you know the little sh pond that got built that all the fish died, and all the little rock mm -hmm. one down by the animals? What if we just turn that into this? But it, Like, this is where we feed our fish, but it's like an actual... Macy's gonna kill me. But dude, think about it for a second. It's already set up for it. Yeah. I just gotta get an excavator in here and dig it out. That's all we gotta do. I mean, it's already, the berm's already there. Yeah, you I, could lay down these trees too. Yeah. The whole structure. Dude, okay, hear me out. I know I'm moving, I mean, dude, that means I'm probably have three ponds up, up this resale value, you know what I mean? I don't know, hopefully whoever buys this place likes ponds. Like how we always feed the animals, we tried to have a pond that would have fish where the bass would eat, and that pond's absolute trash. We just need a legit pond. Now, it may not be the clearest pond, you know, this is, but, we'll see, we'll see, you never know. But a pond would be cool. It's it's literally, I'm like, it's very little work to get it to what we want it to be. You would just, you would think we gotta blow that damn out up there and just put a culvert. Really big, I mean, if we get a really big rain, we don't need to do anything. Fill up, it, but I just gotta, that's, that's the thing. We just gotta rely on the rain. Let me, let's go look over there. I ain't never looked over there, really. Oh God. Uh, this, <laughs> Macy's gonna kill me. Yeah. All right, we're talking about getting big equipment anyway, so it may, it may make quick work. We just have them drop it off here and we'll, this will be our tester. There you where go. Where we get good at the equipment at the house. Think if that was a pond though. I'm Pretty like, sick. I'm like, dude, I feel like this, this is gonna be cool. Last, like last spring when it rained, yeah. when this was like full, I saw wood ducks sitting in Oh, here. God, so don't like, say that. Could you imagine the ducks Dude. right here? Like, if there was duck hunt right there. Dude, we could, we, it's literally designed perfect for it. <laughs> we just excavate it and just basically push the dirt and smooth it all out in the back so we can make it look all nice. I mean, we wouldn't really have to do a ton. What if you had two ponds with a road in between it? Anyway, okay, if I, man, if I was staying the here, bridge. if I was staying here, I would. You guys are like, Flea, why are you selling your house? That's why you should stay. Listen, Rick, we've been over that. If you're new here, it is what it is. I already bought the land. I'm already milling the building house. But, man, there's lots of radishes and turnips here. This was a food plot. Actually, I killed two does off of this. One with the muzzy and one with the bow. Dude, could you, what if this whole thing was a lake? The whole thing could be a lake. Like, this hill right here and that hill right there where you just tie it through together yeah. across that dam. And yeah, where that dike is yeah. now, you just build it up. We excavate it and throw the dirt on top of it yeah. and we backfill take this whole this, thing. Take all this and put it over there. And what you do is you backfill the whole thing, you build this up and just put a couple culverts here so you've got your road, but this could hold water and that could hold water. So when that's full, it'll just backflow into here. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do this, but let's see what this side looks like. I'm not a 
against the little pond. Double pond, the sheesh. I'm not sure. Look at the deer poop. So up here, this is what Jake's talking about, maybe putting a culvert in so we can collect this water. Because yeah, a lot of my neighbors run off. Oh, you put a pond right here. Oh God, yeah. Maybe we should do it right here. Then you wouldn't even know. Macy wouldn't even know. Oh, it's, don't tell her, dude. She no, dude. She would never know. Except for the fact that you can see this from your living room. Well, <laughs> just tell her we're building food plots, dude. She wouldn't <laughs> no, know. She would plots. not don't know. Don't worry about it. She wouldn't know. That's like a hidden treasure, dude. I would sell it and they wouldn't even know. And also it's like, boom. That's, That's I like that. But see, if we do a pond, it gets rid of our mud pit. We want a mud pit. This, I like this. Because all we have to do, bring an excavator in here, dig it out, throw all the dirt on top of this, and just basically spread it around with a little dozer or a skid loader, and you'd be done. And pray for rain. Here's my vote. Mud pit. Step one. Step two, dig it out for a pond. I don't think we need to put a culvert. There's obviously not that much. There can't be that much runoff if it's this dry. I mean, I, we haven't had much rain. I mean, look how much runoff you're still going to get. You're going to get all this flowing down into that. I mean, that's, I don't know, probably 15 surface acres. Man, maybe 10 surface acres of water. You guys let me, is it a good idea or a bad idea? Is Macy going to kill me? Is she not going to kill me? But I feel like... We should make it a pond. And then it's, then you've got a water hole for deer hunting. There you go. You got your food and then they can drink. Wow, that dog is quick. Then now we're, I feel like we're getting, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Cause we got all, we got all the deer poop. This place was loaded. Look at more deer poop. Loaded with more deer poop. Loaded with deer. And if you had a watering hole, where else they gotta go? Come hang out here and get shot at, I guess. But for now, I think we're gonna do is, well, why is it sunny? Oh, there it is. We gotta let the, the rain hit. We're, I don't wanna waste well water. I know it's not like super expensive. It's just, you know, wells can dry up. That would be a bummer. So I think we're gonna wait, let it rain. We got two days of rain coming up. Come assess it after the rain. If there's no mud, we'll get the hose. We'll get all the, the uh, what's that stuff called? The ribbed, black, black and ribbed. Corrugated, corrugated tubing. Yeah, corrugated pipe. I've got like 200 feet of corrugated pipe that we can run down here. I just don't want to do it if we get these good rains that we're talking about getting. We're talking about, I mean, an inch of rain would probably do what we need to do. So it's all gonna funnel in here. But man, I can't get that out of my head now. We gotta, we gotta make this a pond. Let me know, pond or no pond, let me know. But for now, we need that freaking sun to go away. Why the hell is it coming back out? We need the rain to show up and we are gonna get to mud, stay tuned. Oh, the deer like it. Look at the deer. Banjo, you didn't know I made a pond, did you? No. Surprise, surprise. Can we find out? We're wearing waders. It ain't that much deeper, but it's it's probably about right. I mean, it gets, I mean, oh, God. I mean, it's, she, oh, that thing's gonna get, we're at, we got a winch, look. You might have to bog it out. Is it pretty muddy? It's oh. actually some more, I packed it, because I wanted it to hold yeah. water, so I ran the tracks over a ton. Dude, we, look, we have a pond. We told you guys, we literally had like two days of rain, not even, like one and a half days of rain. We might actually turn this into an actual pond. We are talking about dig, excavating this whole thing, and basically this whole rim right here, all the way around would be an actual, like, fishing pond. Yeah, we'll just, you just build that, I mean, I don't even know if you need to build it up. You just have to excavate it down. You know, probably excavate this whole thing out and just throw it up on the berm. But I think you could just, you could just berm it all the way up. And then you'll have to put a, you'll have to put some type of overflow. Look at, isn't that amazing? Literally 45 minutes with the old skiddy. And we've got a little, little mud and pond. We've got the old Mike Wazowski rig. She's hanging out right there. That's the old mini uh, rip saw and we've got the tank so it's kind of like you know it's like you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about and then pool jet and jake are actually up at the top right now they're grabbing the mini atv and the full size atv so again you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about so we'll try some mini stuff we've got but then we brought the big guns we've got the big atvs with the winches and all the power to actually get this stuff out but i am actually curious how the old mike wazowski rig the mini rip saw is gonna do because it's i mean you see what the real rip saw can do i just 
we got to see how close it is in comparison but in the water's actually gone down a little bit we waited a day or two it ain't the thing is if we'd make it an actual pond it ain't gonna be a very clear one i mean clearly but you can put kitty cats in here this could just be the kitty cat pond where we come down and throw our fish food because you can put an automatic fish feeder out here and just have catfish <clears throat> wow i just hit puberty huh you can see from the yeah the house you can see that's my house. So you can sit there and, and watch them. But the fact that the deer are walking up here is actually kind of interesting. They may be getting a little, little sick. We were talking about that too, because if this is a pond, that's the food plot. You know, you kind of have best of both worlds. I think just pretty much all around here, just dig all this out, throw all this dirt up there, dig this out again, make a little, you know, five, six foot deep pond, something that you can throw some catfish in, make a couple deep little holes. But you'd want to, basically we'd grow the fish and then take them out. But as you guys know, we are planning on moving at some point. So it's like, how much work do we really, really want to do? But I mean, this is crazy. Like to me, this is pretty cool to actually be able to see that it does hold water and it's been holding for a couple days now. Um, you know, and so I, I would assume we would just need a lot of rain, but I think one real, one really, really good rain. I think everything drains basically perfectly down into here, put a little culvert pipe in and we'd be in business. So anyways, we're gonna wait for the boys to get down here with the four wheelers and we are going to get to mud and you stay tuned. Yeah. How's it going? What do you think about that? Um, we got a pond. Do you know that? Do you know we had a pond here? I did not. That's yeah. new to me. I don't want to turn this off because she don't want to start. Is it? Is it rough? She's a little rough. She's a little rusty. And all yeah. the tires are flat, but we aired them up. We all of them? them? We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got. We How was every single one of them flat? I don't know. Someone didn't air them up. Really? Yeah. This okay. looks good. It does look good. I know for like 40 See, minutes in the skid loader. See the old deer? I know. Oh, there's a ton of them. Yeah. Deer are getting a little watering hole. That's what I'm saying. I think. I think we got to. How deep is it? It's about almost knee deep in the middle. Yeah, that mini, Ooh, God. that mini's gonna sink. By the way, I mean, are we gonna actually ruin this thing, or what do you think? No, it probably. Well, how deep? No, oh, it's only that deep. Right above the old boots. It's probably too. I mean, you're. I mean, look, right above the old boots is up <laughs> yeah. to the. Yeah. It'll be all right. It's kind of like you versus the guys tells us not to worry about. You got these two things right here. So we've got the new rip saw, the mini rip saw, and then the actual tank itself. Then we've got the giant four wheeler, and then we got the mini four wheeler. So we've got enough for all of the boys. We can all jump on, take it for a rip, basically do some laps around here. And get to mud. I've actually never like intentionally went mudding. Have you ever really? Been, have you ever been actual mudding? Oh yeah. Like in a truck, yeah. But I mean, like an ATV. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you? Nah. Have you? What? Intentionally been mudding in like an ATV? Oh no. Yeah, me neither. It's always just like dirty roads. Yeah, like, yeah. So it was, give me uh, a tip. Uh, uh go fast? fast, fast. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, all right. Well, let's and, it. and if it starts bogging down, like just stay on it. Like if you're getting stuck, <laughs> just stay. Yeah. Okay. Because right. then as soon as you stop, that's when she sucks in the water. Oh, so you just gotta floor it. That's what I've always done. Okay, Worked sounds good. good. Man just said I'm a dirty boy. That was fun. I don't know how long. We think about that, Banjo. What do you got to say about this? I like it. Give her hell, Banjo. Yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> What's that sound? Put it reverse, Terry. But it has. Let me just move it. He's Hulk. He's Hulk. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Get it! Get it! Why is it one wheel drive? Did you see that? Is it supposed to be one wheel drive? You Did it just die? No. They just broke it. Oh, no, I like this thing. We really just need to get a new one. Yeah. I just put $700 into it and it's worse. I think you're supposed to put the coat on the outside so then the water doesn't get down inside, but that duck's jack is looking real good right now. I'm a dirty you got a boy. Wow, look at it, man. You got spooge down. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead. Oh, no. Me and ATVs just don't go well together. This is such a nice four wheeler, too. No, one piece. Oh, she's alive. Go on the deep end. That's all the power I have. That's a lot. Jake, go on the deep end. Floor. Why is it doing that? This is floored. Oh, should we get moving? No. no. God, yeah. That only took 30 seconds to ruin something. No wonder Braden always breaks his sh
money can buy a banjo. Really? Oh god, yeah. You gotta give that a try. Really? How's that mud taste? Oh man, this smells. I'm sorry. I get it now. I get it. Part of me doesn't want to make it a pond now. Seriously, that's fun. Dude, that's the most fun I've ever had. Like, I don't know if I want to put a pond here now. I'm serious. <laughs> Dude, so fun hitting that. You gotta bring the truck down here now. Really? Shoo! What a beast. Don't roll it now. In. Oh, dude, I love this. This is so much fun. I think we should scrap the pond idea and just make this whole thing a mud pit with different levels. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, we need deeper. We need deeper. We need to get snorkel. Oh, Over yeah. Here he comes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that not the most fun you've ever had? I'm a dirty boy. <laughs> dude. Dude, your face just gets soaked. Oh, you just it, close your eyes. Just, you get murked. That was fun. That is a good yeah. time. I think I think we scrap the big pond idea. Just leave it like this. No, but I want but make the whole thing. Because oh, we need to be able to like I want to be able to spin. Yeah. It's a good death. There's, there's like mud coming out of his nose. Man is excited. <laughs> I don't even know if the, the big tank can compare. There's no way the old Romania Ripsaw is going to even come close. No. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's so fun. So what's next? I say Mike Wazowski's up. Really? Oh god, yeah. Painting Dude, I got a windshield and windshield wiper. I'll be, I'll be, should be chilling oh. in this. Mike Wazowski. I've never been in this guy. You never read the old Mike? No. But, <laughs> these damn waders restrict the whole movement of the quads here. <laughs> I almost died. I almost died. She pulled through. Wow. No way the mini rips I did that, dude. It killed it. Wow. I'm impressed. I'll be honest. So this thing's actually capable of things. And the fact, the thing, like, we didn't get a drop on us. That's what I like. Yeah. No. Nothing. That was nice. At all. Did, did you bog down when you went deep, or did you just let off? No, I was full throttle. Oh, it, yeah. it was, she almost died, she yeah. She was digging a little bit. No freaking way, dude. How high was the water? I mean, was the water up on the tracks? Like, were you almost swamped just the cab? Just underneath the top part of the track. That's well, awesome. I would say Mike Wazowski is a beast, but we're not done yet, folks. We have the actual tank to jump into. You know what I'm voting? All four of us get in it. That's what I like to hear. What are you thinking? Yeah. Sure. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, hold on. Hiya. There you go. You boys ready or what? Yes, sir. Going on.
Feeling's too fun. <laughs> you having a good time? Yeah. <laughs> but I got yanked. See if you can throw up first. We should go oh. tubing. Oh, oh the God. tube's in the shop. Next video. Next. Oh, oh teasing. When we make it bigger. Yeah, we got, dude, yeah. yes. We should knock out all these trees. We'll make it huge. That'll be like an acre. Uh -huh. We'll make it all this deep and we can tube on it. Ooh. Yes, that's way better than a fishing pond. Yeah. Oh, way yeah. better than way a fishing better. pond. You already got a fishing pond. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got two. Shoo! Well, folks, there you have it. That is our first ever. That's the first time I've ever done that. Never gone mud before. And I get it now. I, I genuinely get it now. I understand the, the hype. What banjo was your what most fun vehicle, though? Oh, the ATV. What, what are you, ATV? Argo, that was so Really? Like the Argo? The cookies? The, oh, the cookies yeah. were good. I, the ATV, you feel like you're a jet ski. True kind of part ATV. I don't know. I thought it was like, you just really bogged down. That thing is literally built for. Apparently that thing does pretty well too. I liked how I didn't get muddy in that. That thing's dead. So we might bury that thing in the pond. But I think instead of making this an actual fishing pond, because I just don't, again, we're moving at some point, you know, next year or so, you know, you're only going to put what catfish in there. Maybe we already have ponds for that. I think the executive decision is knock out these trees, like these low ones, not all those big ones. We'll just knock out these little, little crap ones little small guys and we'll basically take the excavator and drag it and just keep it all this deep and try to make it basically flat so it's all almost the same depth maybe a little ridge in the middle hope that the whole thing fills up so we got basically something like this but it's five times bigger that's when we come out here and tube and mud and do all sorts of fun stuff so i think i think that's better you guys let us know maybe you want a fishing pond or do you want a mega mud pit mega mud pit or fishing pond comment down below if you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch the next one and peace